Good girl. So she uh, gathering her name. Still uh, really scratchy. Uh, I haven't taken her in for a bath. I think she, she, I'm still getting a lot of hair out of her. So I don't know whether they, I think they bathed her, but they didn't brush her out. And as a result, they, she had a lot of loose hair in her. So I'm gonna make an appointment for a Furminator in a, a bath session, a blowout session. She's eating some grass now. She's off leash as you can see. She did real well yesterday going in and out of the car. So we're giving her a little uh, free time. What's she doing? You having salad? You like salad? You don't have salad at home, huh? Yeah. I might have to get her some, uh, see if there's some uh, salad greens she likes. Come. I, I see. She points. Come. Coda. Coda. Come. Oh, you did, you did the hard way. You did the hard way. Yes, you did. Yeah, to the heavy, heavy ice plant. She hasn't done that before. That's a new experience. Lifting her paws high. So we're just gonna go for a little walk today. See how she does. I'd rather she kept a little closer. But I uh, dumped all the treats because they looked a little... Uh, Dried out, so I think the train was. This way. Change direction. Good girl. All right. Come in. Up, 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 up. Good girl. Oh, it's a big hole. Check out the gnome holes. There's an even bigger one somewhere around here. Huge. Did you fall in the hole again? Okay, we'll just go to the driveway then we'll turn around. She's doing good. I can say a little bit too far ahead. Come back. Coda! Coda! Going backwards. Good girl, come here. All right. She's just got, she got that uh, German Shepherd step, trancy, moves the head very quickly, unlike Amber, a little flatter gait. Doing good with freedom. Doing good. Because we haven't had any uh, mishaps yet, so. She's in the bunny bush. Checking out the bunny bush. Oh, yeah, she hears squirrels, rabbits. That's what a dog lives for right here. What do you got down there? Bunnies or squirrels? What do you got there? Yeah, that's the that's the stuff right there. I don't know what it is about bunny bush, but I think it's a thick foliage. Alright, come on. Let's go back. Coda! Coda, come on. Let's go back. Oops. Coda, come! Good girl, oh, good girl, yes. Little touch. He's like, I'm sticking with you, you show me some good stuff. She had a little, uh, 
bacon. She really likes bacon for treats, for training treats. I found out. Had some fried bacon today. Crispy. Coda, come! Look at that. Good girl. Wow. <laughs> Better than I expected, actually. A little bit looser than I expected. A little further away than I expected. But she's keeping, uh, keeping within about 40 feet. That's closer than Betty. Betty's a distance dog. He's not, not overly affectionate. Like this, this one is overly affectionate. Which I didn't know. Kind of mirrored her, her barking behavior in the kennel when I met her. She was bark, 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 bark. And she barely backed down. It wasn't an aggressive barking, it was like a warning bark. She was very exuberant about it. Versus some other dogs that were absolutely stone quiet and absolutely uh, fearful. She had a nice middle in behavior. She, uh, very affectionate dog. I mean, I can't tell you. I have to wash my face like 10 times a day now. Because she'll get in there and give me the once over with her lovely huge tongue that she has. Moist and drippy. Yuck. Move pretty quick. That's good. How are we doing? Another dome hole? Different dog, different behavior. Different norms for her. Oh, look at you. Yeah, there's squirrels in there. You need to be a dachshund to get that one. Or chihuahua. What'd you see? What did you see? I missed it. Usually I see it. Huh. Oh, I don't see it. Did it go up? Did something go up the tree? You're getting more smells. Come. Good girl. She's, she's got something over there. Coda! Good girl, good girl. Yeah, good girl. You smell my hand? No, she's not. There's too much diversions here. She's doing real good. A little loose. Look at that. German Shepherd behavior. I spy people. Come on, girl. Good girl. So I got ordered a uh, Embark Health and DNA test from the company. So that's in the mail. To give you the idea what they were doing down at Long Beach Animal Care. Coda cost me $5. It's unlicensed. She's in for over 60 days, and uh, my discount. Oh, yeah. Coyote. Coyote poo. Fresh coyote poo. Huh? Very dry, drier than hers. And uh, then I got her treats and snacks, and leash and holler, and order for license online. And uh, so 
I mean it for about 50 times, 60 times more than my initial investment for her. <laughs> She's worth it. She's a good girl. You got something? Got a squirrel? Yeah, got a squirrel. I haven't tried her in the uh, kennel. Buddy went berserk in that thing. I couldn't transport him in that. He just tumbled it. He was, he was worried about get, getting hurt. Come on. I see a dog coming. There we go. We don't want to meet the dog. Dog is on a leash. We only want to meet dogs off leash. Good girl. Nope. Gosh. So anyway, that's your first outing. <laughs>